Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Andalusia, Spain. Here we work with nature. Nature is the teacher. We are the slow learners. This is the northern border. This is where the creek leaves the property. Here I have planted some cane and the neighbors are unhappy about that. But it's also okay. Just beautiful to see some flowing water. It's also getting cleaner, clearer. Sediment settling at the bottom. I will walk up the creek on the western uh, on the eastern side of the creek this is what is left from my leaky weir rocks stones they're all there but uh, a little bit further down the creek and uh, lots of sediment silt deposited here this is a cañada, a drift, a crossing uh, where a vehicle can come through. It's the only place that I can do that. Also my wheelbarrows. Uh, most of this sand here caused by me by building a soil dam wall that didn't survive, actually twice survived the storms, the flooding. Just beautiful to hear the water flow. So this is the embankment of my attempt to build a wall with soil. There is a gabion. This gabion is also sagging and bulging and it collected a lot of sediment and silt and sand and even backing up some water. Beautiful to see. In this area there is no obstruction, no leaky weir, but lots of possibilities. My rickety bridge is still hanging. In this higher area, and lots of plants, lots of debris collected, lots of natural damming taking place. Another gabion bulging, collecting some rubbish and water. Beautiful to see. This is the infiltration system, the canat. Water flowing here. When it flows on the bedrock on this rocky surface it's actually clear i like that the top end of the creek the higher end the southern end and now for the revelation of whether the water emptied the sand from my dam or not it's all gone most of it lots of it i'm happy 
the water brought the sand and now also took it further. Great! Lots of stones left. Sand over there, sand over here. If this can flow all year round, I will be very rich. But even without that I am so happy to be on this land. Full moon. And a full heart. Great. Here at the southern border, more towards the east, we have a culvert under the road bringing water. Right now it's just a trickle, but uh, it's very welcome when it's a lot. It's diverted here into two. It can either go this way and or that way. In this erosion gully, we have some salt collection area and then a dam and it's just overflowing steadily down the erosion gully we have a lot of obstructions that hold water, it's collecting mulch, and salt and sand and sediment and whatever and hopefully in a few years time we don't have this big eyesore anymore but the question always remains, what do we do with the water? Ponds, yes. Dams, yes. And then? So, we will have to think a bit. The soil, dam, wall or diversion wall holds. Great. The canal holds. And then the water goes into all these swales. But there's something I don't understand. Some living thing came in here and just removed or ate the bottom part of these asparagus. Why? These are dog imprints. I thought maybe it was a pig, but it was too selective eating. We will find out. We expect more rain today. Beautiful. All these swales are full.
overflowing into the next one. And the next one. Till next time. Goodbye.